Welcome back to the Moo Moo Talk with Tina. So excited to be here today. This is my first recording of the Moo Moo Talk in 2020. Come on, tell me where the time's gone. I can't believe it. It is 2020. Phew. Well, anyways, welcome back. I hope you're so excited because I am super excited. Probably, ah, I just feel like I'm almost nervous. But I'm super excited to bring to you a new and improved Moo Moo Talk. What I'm going to do is plan on bringing you all some life tips. Now, all of these have been research-based, practiced, and proven to work. So I'm going to give you a little tip each week, and hopefully you'll start seeing... Now, I'm taking hopefully out. I know if you'll practice these little tips and techniques, you will start to see positive energy ushering into your life. I mean, anything you desire, you can start asking for it. And yes, you'll get it. We're gonna talk about the law of attraction. Lola's even gonna be a part of it on occasion. Do you hear her bark? She just likes to tell me hello on occasion, but we're gonna have so much fun. Now your special tip today is all about Shoo! Shooing that negative energy. All of us know what I'm talking about because everybody has bad days or bad moments. Maybe you have somebody that's just really irritating you and you're well, like, how do I get out of this? This is driving me crazy. Whatever it may be, I want to show you a quick little trick to help you shoo the negative and welcome in the positive. Well, here we go. I want you to get a plastic bag. Now, I, you, I'm using these today because they were one of those mess ups. I know, you've done it before. You've gone in there to get Ziploc baggies, and when you get them, or any kind of baggies, I'm not sponsored by Ziploc, okay? Okay, so you go in there, and then you get these little bitty, one time I got these little bitty ones. So I'm gonna use these for this little trick and tip thing today, all right? Get a baggie any kind of baggie, but do make sure it seals pretty well, okay? All right, then get you a piece of paper, a piece of paper and a marker or a pen, doesn't matter, there's no particulars of those things, okay? And write, I freeze. Yes, write, I freeze. And then just start writing. And I mean writing. I froze today negative energy. I froze people's names that maybe have been kind of having a hard time. I froze their negative energy. Freeze anything you want. And I'm going to tell you a little trick. So it's been many years ago, but I had this good friend of mine that had a son who loved football. I mean, he loved football. He still loves football. I mean, he's an adult now and he loves football. And there was a coach that was a new coach, and he just seemed to not care for this particular child. I mean, he was almost to the point of unruly. He kept saying, no, you're not gonna play. He was messing with his football career. It was really mean. There were some mean things going on. Well, I don't know, one day I sat down and I said, just freezing. She said, what? And I said, freezing. And that's what we did. We sat down, or she did, and we wrote down the negative things that this coach was doing. Now, we froze everything at that moment. And you know what? That coach left after a short time of freezing. But before he left, he got a little bit better towards her son. And after he left, her son got to go on and have a beautiful football career. And he still does what he loves to do today. Now, that was just one story. It was just one that popped in my mind. And I think it's the reason that it popped in my mind and continues to is because it was so powerful. I do this on a regular. When you get to feeling, you know, when do you want to use this technique? When you feel just anything, maybe it's extra bills that you just don't know where you're going to get the money. Freeze your worries. Sometimes I'll put on there, I freeze all of my fears at this time. Because, you know, your fears change as time goes on. Whatever negative thing, energy, person, statements, situations that are in your life, you can freeze them. So you write it down 
Then you take your paper, oops, gotta show you, take your paper, and you rip it up. I mean, just rip it to shreds. Had a one, had one friend that was a real estate agent. This was many years ago. And she actually was told this little tip from somebody else, even though I had always told her to freeze it. And that lady took hers and burnt the pieces of paper and then put the ashes in a bag. It doesn't matter how you do it. You're not going to hurt anybody. This is perfectly safe. It doesn't matter if you're two years old or 102. You can do this tip or that you can do this technique to stop the energy. Stop that negative being in your life. Okay. So anyways, you rip it up. You put it in the baggie. You freeze the baggie. I mean, I take mine and put it in the deepest part of my deep freeze but you do whatever you choose to do on that okay then you freeze it now let me give you a little bit of an explanation you see we live in an energy feeling world we live in a world where we do we act we feel all on energy and sometimes in life we just need to freeze it we just need to push the pause button. And that's what this technique does. So take your negative energy, take your fears, put your worries, write them down. If it's anger, write it down. I freeze my anger towards this, whatever it may be, but it works. When you put it in the freezer, you get to forget about it. You know, when I was a Sunday school teacher, we would write down anything that we were struggling with, our kids would. And then we would put it in an envelope and I would write to Jesus and we would pretend to mail it. And it kind of took that worry of the kids. If they had a worry, sometimes they were worried about, you know, their animal or maybe their mommies or daddies or their grandmas. And it was so fun because they felt like instead of writing the letter to Santa Claus, they were writing it to Jesus. However you need to do this, you must, it's imperative that you pause the negative energy. Don't let it get so big that it explodes because everything has a breaking point. Everything has a pressure point. So all you need to do is just pause it for a minute or a week or a year or 10 years. I don't care how long you pause it, but just pause it doesn't serve you so take the negative energy write it down I freeze my anger I freeze my fears I freeze you know whatever it is write it on your piece of paper rip it up put it in a ziploc baggie or a baggie that has the little locks at the top seal it and pour water in it seal it and throw it in the freezer and walk away now, all you have to think about is what you desire and watch the positive energy come into your life like a flood. Woo! I can't wait to hear your results. You better get to freezing today. It won't be long. This Moo Moo Talk will be back. You are awesome. Next Moo Moo Talk we are going to start talking about our mindset. What is your mindset on? Because that's what you're getting. God bless and you are amazing.